All right, so we all remember high school, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people that contribute to the environments there. Yeah. These people we're going to specifically talk about, well, they feed your kids, they make sure they're safe, and they also they have to have a clean place for your kids to learn. And yet when they come, when they come home to their own families, they, they tend to struggle to provide. Yeah, it's a tough spot. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow explains why they're telling their bosses at the Hillsborough County School District, we need to get paid better. My main function is just to take out a threat. Anyone on this campus that causes a threat to the teachers or students. As a school resource officer at Gary Adult High School in Hillsborough County, Alexander Montalvo has a tough job. A lot of our students come from different uh, high schools that somehow can't cope or they're arrested off campus. And this is kind of the last chance school. So yeah, it can be uh, dangerous trying to keep make sure that everyone that's on this campus belongs here. So I would like to see the district to give us a little raise to compensate us now, because our job has increased tremendously from what we used to do. Especially since starting pay is low. Everything seems to be going up, but our salary. Montavo is one of 288 SROs in the Hillsborough School Employees Federation, a union that also represents bus drivers, custodians, and food service workers. And right now, that union is pushing the district for better wages. The district does not comment on ongoing negotiations, but has met with the union multiple times. Just be fair with the salaries. Custodians and food service workers have the lowest salaries in the district. They often make around $10 an hour. Our people struggle with, you know, keeping up with their car insurance or keeping up with their rent. Our same employees suffer and our children suffer that go to these same schools. People of Hillsborough County voted for a half a cent tax uh, to tax themselves so that the school district could have additional money. And so we're asking the district just, just to pay as a fair wage. The union says the goal is to get more workers above the poverty line.